Evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here with some more Darkest Dungeon. We're going to go ahead and take our first stab at a medium mission. This has been a uh, series fraught with some small amount of perils, but uh, here we go. We got our party. It should be a good one. A Hellion, a Crusader, a um, Bounty Hunter, and a Vestal for some healing. Let's see how this goes. So, definitely going to want to take a lot of food to make sure that I can feast. I think this is what I typically like. Three shovels, for sure. Let's grab this, because you know what? I'm willing to spend 200 gold if it means finding some more food, maybe for eating for health regeneration. Let's do this for searching the bodies, this for unlocking luggage, and of course, torches. I'm gonna take probably more than I need, given that I have a Crusader and a Vestal, both of whom have abilities that increase the light level, but uh, I think it's worth it to be safe. It used to be that you, you should probably try to, you know, like in the original Darkest Dungeon, the, the, as the, in the way that it was when I made my original series, the way to play was basically to try to cut corners money-wise whenever possible. Because, you know, you could beat the game just by overpowering everything with uh, melee damage, not melee damage, multi-target damage. And you should try to save money um, because otherwise it was just wasting it. But now that you can sell trinkets and you get a trinket at the end of every mission guaranteed, you actually have a lot more money to work with. And I think it's the designers did a really nice job. Like in that sense, they made the game easier, but in all the other respects, they made it harder. And that just makes it really nice. You feel like both you're more stronger and the game is more challenging at the same time. You kind of get to have your cake and eat it. So we get a scouting. This is actually really good scouting to know because I know I don't have to go back down to this room. Unfortunately, this is a beat all the rooms mission, so I will have to go back to this one, which means I do have to waste one of my shovels up front. Well, not waste, I have to use a shovel up front. But that's why I buy them, is so that I could use them. Now we've got firewood here. One thing that probably you, has, you have to change in this new world of Darkest Dungeon is you should probably um, spend time at the camping guy, the survivalist, earlier to make sure you get the, the good skills. Because, you know, working with suboptimal camping skills does hinder you quite a bit. So here, this is pretty much the toughest fight I think you can get you can get in the wield, is these two guys, which have a lot of hit points, and then these two guys, which often spray the back with a blight, with a big blight. So you have to, and it, and it used to be you could just go after these two guys, they die, and the little ones would come forward, but now you really need to go after the ones in the back. I got lucky there and resisted both of the blights. I'm gonna just keep it safe and go for that, which sucks that it's at one hit point, because I don't really have anything that deals multiple damage. I think I'm going to have to have this Hellion do a breakthrough just to finish this one off. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on the last one, the one in the back row here. Thankfully it marks prey rather than doing Reign of Blight. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, mark one of these guys for death and then try to collect bounty with it. To, to kill it as quickly as possible. Now this, this Hellion's actually taking quite a bit of damage. Luckily, we are about to have a feast here. So, it, it's it's not as bad as it could be. I could actually heal the um, Hellion here. I wish I had Zealous Accusation rather than the single target. But that's fine. Um, I can't kill either one of these with one hit. So, we'll get to work on that one. Crit leaves it with one hit point. Oh, that's frustrating. Alright. So the Hellion is going to go down to Death's Door, which is sort of irritating. It just got whacked a bunch of times. I need to, unfortunately, just heal this bitch so she doesn't die and cause me any more stress. All right, luckily, they choose to go for the Crusader. But see, if you, you know, if you try to single target your way to kill the guys in the back, I mean, it does take time to, to do that. And then these guys get more hits, so the health actually becomes a problem. Please don't go down to Death's Door. Thank you very much. Alright, what I'm going to do here, unfortunately I can't reach that one, so we'll just kill that one off, hopefully get rid of some stress a little bit, yeah, ah, Reign of Blight, well this is actually fine, these guys are pretty much untouched the whole fight, so that's okay. Let's keep healing the Hellion, in fact, let's keep healing the Hellion, so I know this thing can do Reign of Blight, but these guys are about to have a feast, so they're going to heal up, I think it's actually fine. If I, if I can pull that... Ugh, missing again. If I could pull it forward, that would have been good. Um, let me just whack the corpses to get this thing to come up. I think doing a little bit of dicking around here is worth it. Although, of course, the stress happens again. So, 
healing or focusing on stress. You know what? I think the stress is fine. Let's make sure the health gets up there. Let's do a group heal. Notice the group heal was changed. It's now 1 to 3 rather than guaranteed 2, which I think is a good change. Ah, doesn't quite kill the corpse. Um, because that makes it... Um, you know, a little bit more random. You're not necessarily always going to get that juicy two-point heal. Sometimes you'll get a one-point heal across the party, and then at a critical time, that can be a real problem. All right, let's finish killing off that corpse. Land sakes. All right. I mean, sometimes you will get three, so on average it does balance out. Well, that crit was pretty nice there, but, you know, the possibility of a one, I think, adds some needed tension to it. I believe hitting the corpses counts as doing... A meaningful action. I don't know if the mark counts or not. But I am pretty happy to just have the Crusader and the Vestal heal the party up a little bit here. Yeah, let's do a group heal. Okay, so now hmm, I might not actually need to rest just yet. Let's see how this goes down. So we got a couple of escape clouds. Resisted that time. The escape cloud's not nearly as bad because it's only one damage per round. And hopefully the hell or the uh, crusader goes before the bounty hunter. Hooray! So health is fine. Let's just focus on the stress relief then. That was a tough fight, but ended up being okay. Oh, the dodge. Well, that's good. That means if the crusader or the vessel go again, especially the crusader, we can get some usefulness out of this fight before it ends. Nope. Down you go. Alright, this thing, if I remember correctly, is just bad. So I am not going to... Yes, I'm not going to do the Eldritch Altar. We'll just head on back. The scouting early on was really nice. Otherwise, I would have had to fight an extra fight in the hallway for no reason. Alright. So, maybe I could use the firewood. You know, I'm just going to use the firewood now. Rather than trying to max, I bought extra torches so I, I could, you know, use the firewood earlier if needed, and I think it's a good use of it. So let's go ahead and feast it up. So we have full health and get some nice stress resistance. Now, who had some good skills? The Barbarian got junk. The Crusader, actually the Crusader's skills are just bad. The Bounty Hunter's got some good ones, that's fine. And that's great. So, thank you, Bounty Hunter. And then these are both terrible. So, unfortunately, got some pretty shitty skills. Luckily, we do have some stress relief, so at least it's not all totally wasted. Uh, let's stress relief the Vestal. And let's have the Paladin, excuse me, the Crusader, stand strong. 35% stress resist, hopefully. Helps out. Now, the problem is that none of these guys had any combat sort of things. She didn't have sharpened spear. The crusader skills all suck. The Vestal didn't have the Bless to give someone accuracy and dodge. Alright, we gotta fight some extra spiders here. We're surprised. It's not too bad. The Crusader gets to do Holy Lance and put the Vestal into position. Of course, if the Vestal had gone first, her first turn would have been wasted. But that's okay. Let's just... Oh, I dazzled the wrong one. Should have dazzled the one who's, whose turn was still to come. That was a mistake. Well, let's see if I can actually just kill that one. And I can. Wow, nice crits. So, we're not going to take any damage here. In fact, this fight leaves us ahead. Um, I couldn't actually do anything from the back, unfortunately. This fight leaves us ahead because we took no damage and did get a little bit of stress relief going. Alright, Bounty Hunter, get where you need to go. We even got some treasure, so that turned out to be good. Wow, I'm going to have to use both of my shovels. So, it's a good thing I buy three shovels as a matter of standard operating procedure on this level. If there's a fourth one of these, because there's a third one already up here. If there's a fourth one, then so be it. I'm not going to start buying four shovels, but it just goes to show there's a lot of thickets. Wait, wait, why is this? Oh, this thing is still showing up because I guess I didn't use the altar there. But I definitely won the battle in that room, so that's good. We got the dogs. The dogs used to be my least favorite thing. They really don't do that much damage, though. The main thing with them is they crit a lot and they dodge a lot, but if you happen to not get crit against, they dodge a few times, sure, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I don't think I know, I don't think I need a mark for death. I think we can just whackety-dackety, and in fact, I got a lucky damage roll and killed it in one hit. 
If it bleeds, let's go for the one up here. So if it bleeds, it doesn't. Unfortunately, that means it's not gonna die. This Holy Land's one of the ones in the back. Unfortunately, did not roll high enough to kill it. So let's try to just Judgment this one to death. What is my minimum damage? Four. So let's go for the one that had four health. Okay, it's not going too badly here. Oh yeah, the dogs jump to the front, so the corpses don't really matter when you're fighting against dogs. Zealous Accusation all around is probably better than Smite, unfortunately. But it just sucks when you have Zealous Accusation and just want to hit something single target, you know? Alright, we should be fine now. I don't think I even need to dick around here. My health in situation, my health situation is fine. Okay, well, we'll just do a heal, that's fine. It's not really dicking around, it's just I had an extra action with that Vestal, so I might as well use it for good. Oh, there's a dodge. Okay, sure, we'll do another heal. This time on the party. Unfortunately, she crit herself. She was at full health and had no stress, so it wasn't the most useful crit there ever was. And there is If It Bleeds, which is still really overpowered. And a ton of gold from dogs. Great. Can't complain about how that one went. The only thing I can complain about is the three thickets. Which are making my life difficult. I now officially am out of shovels. Let's keep the light somewhat high. I'm happy to spend money on that to make sure that I don't take as much damage and as many crits from monsters. Officially, it doesn't say that low light makes monsters crit more, but it really seems like they do. My bandages come to come to use. I'll use the extra torch. All right, so here this is a pretty easy fight. These guys don't hit very hard. And then this thing can spawn a copy of itself, which it will, unfortunately. It seems to be random whether it uses that attack or not. But it's only got 8 health, so it's not the end of the world. Now this one's in the back. I'll have to Holy Lance it. Holy Lance has, I think, always been a really good skill, but it's even more so now that it's important to do single target damage to clear out the stuff in the back row. And I get 8 on the nose, which is nice. So, can I target the third person with it? I cannot. So, let's see if we can pull this thing to the front. Doesn't really matter that much. But, there it is. No need to dick around. Everyone's fine on stress and health. And so far, this medium mission's going pretty well. We had our hardest fight up front with the two fungal gropers and then the things that shoot blight. Alright, I could try to have the Crusader disarm this trap, but I think that's a mistake. I should probably just go for whoever has the highest trap score, which appears to be the Bounty Hunter, actually. 50%. Of course, he fails. Takes a bunch of stress. Let's keep the light above 50%. Oh, he's obsessed with money. Well, luckily, nothing bad can happen from looting packs. That's a pretty innocent manifestation of the quirk. All right, well, we have two hall two fights here. One of them is in the hallway, so that's not useful, and then one of them is in the room. These are probably the worst things to find in the rooms, honestly, these ones, because it's just like a big fight, and you don't get anything for it. This is actually a pretty big fight, too, with two blanket fires and these guys doing tons of damage. I actually need to use a torch as soon as I can to try to reduce how much damage I take from this fight, because it could go really bad really fast. Well, maybe if I had torched up before walking into these guys, I wouldn't have been in this trouble, but they all went before all of my people? Seriously? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Alright, we're gonna have to do a stun. I think it's worth it, because I'm behind right now to trade one person's turns for two. I'm gonna try to pull this guy to the front, so he can't do blanket fire. I really have got to heal my team, but I also need to kill these things. Well, this one's not doing that much damage. These are stunned. So what I'm going to try to do is kill that guy with Holy Lance and Judgment before he gets to go. Alright. Basically, I just took a ton of damage, which sucks. But if I can kill these two guys and leave this guy up front, we can do some dicking around in this fight. And then that could help me heal back up. In fact, if this bleeds, he's going to die before he gets to ever act. So he's taken care of. Now, I think I have enough other people hitting, I can start doing healing. Okay, yeah, that crit was nice. In fact, uh, oh, I can't use Collect Bounty against the person in the third position. Oh, man. That's really irritating. Hmm. This guy's not that useful. I, if I pull him up, he might not die. 
and then this thing. I think from the second, I think from the second position, you can still do blanket fire. All right, so what we're gonna do is landmark on this one. I'm not sure it'll do me that much good, but actually, when this guy bleeds out, this one will step forward, so the mark will become useful then. All right, let's do actually a little bit of healing here. Start the dicking around. So hopefully this guy goes first. If this guy goes first, he'll bleed out. And then this other guy will step forward. Let's get that stress down. Get some more healing going. Alright, let's do bleeding on the one I want to kill. He resisted, unfortunately. But this guy died, which is good. Because it means that he's forward now. And then the bounty hunter will get to hit him while he's marked. A chow. All right, and now let's just dick around. So I think the group heal on average heals more than the targeted heals, even though the Vestal doesn't have any hit points to be gained. Ah, oh, fucking crits. That wasn't actually too bad as far as stress goes. I'm going to whack the corpses because I believe that actually counts as a legitimate action. And our health is actually low enough that I am going to use his regular heal rather than uh, using his stress heal. Let's keep doing the group heals. That's nine health. Yeah, that's more than I would have gotten off of a single person. All right, the corpse disappears because of time. I don't know if a mark counts as a meaningful action, but I'll do it anyway. Please don't crit me with your rush shot this time. Thank you kindly, good sir. Luckily, I roll another three. Let's do breakthrough. That counts as a real attack. But doesn't deal very much damage. Now we're in more comfortable shape, so let's do some stress healing. Everyone's down to just one stress bar. As long as that's not a crit, which it's not. So let's get him a little bit healed, take some of that stress off. And we'll, we can kill this guy. Oh, I, all right. I guess the Vestal gets another heal in here. I don't mind rolling a one because I definitely rolled a couple of threes earlier, so it's a fair trade. Man, that guy has a high speed. He's always first. Speed 6, I guess isn't even that high. I wonder if this actually counts as an... I don't know if that counts as an action or not. Oh, that was a critical mark. So we got some stress relief. Hooray. You know, I can probably... Stop dicking around here. Once the Vestal heals, that, that'll be my last dickering. Alright, so everyone's a full health, no stress. Time to kill that guy. One thing the corpses do do, I mean, I think overall they make the game harder, but one thing that they do do that's easier, that makes the game easier, is that they give you a target for your legitimate attacks, which makes it easier to dick around at the end of fights. Alright, we got the cultists. These guys I'm actually not that afraid of. They do crit sometimes. I mean, everyone crits sometimes, but these ones with the stressful incantations are the top priority. So, if it bleeds, should take care of this one, so I'm gonna try to Holy Lance that- oh, God, they always dodge the Holy Lance! I swear, that Holy Lance has like an accuracy rating of 0.02%. They always miss. Alright, if, if she bleeds, she's gonna die. Fucking resistance. Ah. Uh. Alright, the Eldritch Pole luckily wasn't on the Vestal, and it got resisted anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out these guys. Man, it really sucks the Collect Bounty doesn't hit the third spot. That's actually really irritating. 4 damage on the nose, she's dead. Unfortunately, this one doesn't slide up, so if it bleeds, cannot hit it. Which will mean it'll stick around for longer than it's supposed to. Ah, the stressful incantations. Alright. Let's see what we got. I really wish I actually had... Zealous... Accusation. I think I should probably just swap it out. It seems like it's coming up more fucking crits! Alright, now what I need to do is try to... You know what? I'm just gonna hit this corpse. The corpse is bleeding. I don't even know what that means. But I really want this thing to step forward. I could have stunned it if she was up front one more space. Alright, so anyway, um, the corpse is bled out. This cultist moves forward as long as um, the barbarian gets to go. Or she uses Eldritch Push for absolutely no reason. We get to kill her off. And at the end of this fight, we can do a little bit of dicking around to get rid of some of that stress I incurred from these crits. Yeah, Zealous Accusation would be a lot better. But the good thing about dicking around is it's better when... Or, sorry, sp sp the Holy Smite is it's better for dicking around. 
All right, the Barbarian took some stress and some damage. Everyone but the Vestal is hurt, so let's do that. What I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna yop this one, and then I'm gonna ward off the stress penalty by having the Bounty Hunter whack the corpses. It seems like a pretty good way to keep on dicking around here. I have a feeling at some point they're gonna change it, or at least they should, so that um, hitting corpses does not stop you from getting punished by the game. I feel like that probably shouldn't count, because all you're doing is just whacking a corpse. <laughs> it's not exactly productive. You're clearly toying with the enemy if they're alive and you're hitting the corpses. Although, are you? I mean, on the other hand, maybe you need to kill the corpses so that you can get people to come up so you're trying to, like, get past the corpses. Hmm. Maybe it's actually legitimate. It just ends up having this unfortunate side effect. I think stress is fine. Actually, he's got a pretty high stress. He's, up, he's almost up to 20. Um, it has an unfortunate effect that it lets people draw out the battles at the end for some heal spamming. Alright, let's just go ahead and kill this guy now. Oh yeah, he yopped a few times, so he has a damage penalty. I'm gonna put a mark on him. Yeah, let's just do regular healing. Four health for a frontline fighter? Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how they buffed that healing skill. And now... Well, now I'm gonna stun him. There's no reason to let him have an attack. The bounty hunter can finish him off. Oh, get an extra healing in here. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, I even get some stress healing. Yes, please. Okay, so that was a bit of a protracted battle, but I do want to try to keep the stress down on my heroes. As we saw in, this, in the opening of the series, things started out really rough in the beginning. So, I want to make sure that my good heroes that I like using, well, minus the bounty hunter, because really, let's face it, the bounty hunter still kind of sucks. Um, the good heroes that I like using are as fresh as possible, because I really need to maximize my chances of winning. I also need to go to the naturalist at some point, or the survivalist, or whatever he's called, and uh, get some better camping skills. Unfortunately, I didn't find any shovels, so that grave will have to go undug. I found a key to go along with the one I bought. Okay, let's kill off the spitters before they can do too much damage with their acid attacks. Alright, please, Holy Lance, for once, don't miss. God damn it, Holy Lance! You miss it every time! Ah, oh, terrible. So that's six damage. Right, come on, get a good hit. Nope, not a chance. Why? Does this bounty hunter have some kind of an issue? His accuracy is in red. Got a bad feeling. He's got lethargy. Oh, rabies! He's got lower accuracy. But I guess it's worth it because he has a higher damage, so that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it for 400, Alex. Alright. I can't hit this guy with anything... Are these guys both stunned? Seriously? You've got to be kidding me. That almost never happens. Okay, well, let's go ahead and um, waste a bunch of turns doing nothing. Oh, come on! Land an attack! She's actually in a lot of trouble. I'm going to see what is this. Four more damage? I'm going to just drink that. And we're going to Judgment the Spitter to heal up some more. So I don't care about her health as long as she survives the end of the mission. Um... It's fine, I just only care about stress at this point. This, for all I know, could even be the last room. So let's try to kill off the one... Oh my god, what the fuck is up with these spiders? They're worse than the goddamn dogs! Ah, uh, Come on, thank you! Jesus Christ, what's the girl gotta do? To land some hits around here. Fuck, that means this one's gonna get to spit some more acid, because the corpse stops me from using if it bleeds. Traffic bleeds here. Oh, thank you very much! Alright, stress is actually fine. Only really the health is an issue for the Vestal. Um, I don't know if that's worth healing for. I do have extra food here. But I need to kill these corpses to be able to get to that spider anyway. So, whatever. Um, judgment could kill it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll kill it. It'll heal her for three. The Crusader's a bit low on health. It's gonna actually go down to six. But hey, that's what food's for, right? Food's what you eat when your acid is killing you. Alright, well, unfortunately... Um, 
gonna have to put this on just so I can keep it or that okay sure let's do this one so I can take those busts pop a torch let's pop all the torches here all right so there is one more fight unfortunately apparently there's another battle in the last room treasure Ooh, I'm out of room okay so that's the way to do this well let's put this on so that we can fit that stuff and then can I use up all the rest of my torches I think I can yeah because these torches aren't gonna do me any more good all right now I have to throw away the holy water because that's not gonna do me any good all right and at the entrance to this place oh there's a fight fuck 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 oh fuck that's bad so these guys give stress and they stun so I really need to try to kill them as fast as possible please don't get stunned Please don't get stunned. I hate you. I hate you. I hate. Th Why are they all getting to go first? What? Are, what is up with my team? Do they not like have any wits about them? They're like, nope. Let's just let the. Let's just be gentlemanly here. We're in Victorian England. England. Let's just let all the monsters go first every time. Oh, thanks for resisting that stun. That's really, really helpful that you did that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Four. Four. Its health is five. Four? Are you kidding me? Christ! Oh my God! Ah, uh, so terrible. So I killed a grand total of one of them in the first round, and then I hit for three. I guess these guys have some crazy amount of protection. Yeah, 60%. Okay, as long as they don't target the Vestal, I'm fine. The Black Plague, that doesn't sound really good at all. I am not thrilled about this. Jesus. So you lose hit points, speed, and you are more apt to get blighted and diseased. Actually, I guess it could be worse. Alright, let's break through here. No, you know what? They have res damage resistance. Let's just hit it with full strength. Otherwise, I was afraid neither, neither of them was going to die. You've got to be fucking kidding me. This is, like, just the worst thing. I was all ready to fight the final battle. Just march up to the door, eat some food, and move in. But no! Had to have some fucking maggots in the way. Come on, get up here. Thank you. So now I can at least holy smite it. Of course it goes first. Of course. Of course. And of course I don't dodge. Because dodging is only what monsters do. Oh, and of course it gets done, so I can't even heal myself. All right, we're going to have to do a group heal here. Because everyone's hurting. Two people are really hurting. But everyone's hurting somewhat. Can they be stunned? They can't. Fuck it. Let's just kill it. And hope that my food is going to be enough. So he, till he's full. Luckily, he gets two hit points per food. She only gets one. But that'll have to do. So that extra food that I bought ends up mattering. Because it buys me some health before this final battle. Which could be significant. Okay, this isn't the worst thing. These guys die pretty quickly. Um, these guys, of course, do stress, which I don't want. Luckily, if I can hit her for 10 damage. Nope, just 8. So, she resists the bleed, which sucks, because if she had been bled, she would have died on the turn after this one. Now I have to waste an attack hitting her. I'm going to get greedy and try to get that one back here and use Judgment Day to finish off the one that's hurt. Okay, that worked out. Please, just don't crit me. I have an acceptable amount of stress. Wait, how is that going to fit? Oh, it, it actually makes the corpse go away. Fascinating. Alright. Um, I'm just going to try to kill one. Nothing fancy. I want to leave one of them around. And have the uh, cultist lady be dead. So I can do some stress relief. Can you please hit her for six? Thank you very much. Okay, this is good. So now we can just have the Crusader heal up the stress on the Bounty Hunter, bring it down to a manageable level, and then we'll call it a day. Bonk. Oh, I should have probably used Yop to stun it. Um, why don't I use this to stun it? I don't care about health anymore. So I might as well just get her stunned however which way. So if we can get the bounty hunter down to just one bar, that would be good. That will take a couple more stress relievings. I think two, yeah. So literally a couple. Breakthrough so that we don't get penalized. My cytokinesis, is that going to still spawn a copy? It is. 
I'm okay with that. We can now kill off the first one and dick around against the second one. That's fine. Crusader needs to go. Come on, Crusader. You went you went after like the the bounty hunter who's got the black plague, lethargy, and something else went before you. That's kind of embarrassing. I hope you're embarrassed for yourself. Wow, these guys just really wanna cytokinese. Alright, so the same thing as before, we kill off the second one. I could probably do more dicking around and get everyone's bars even lower, but let's just finish this off. Get some more stress relief anyway. That worked out perfectly. And we're done here. Let's make sure we get our reward. Oh, there is no reward here. That's lame. Alright, well, that's that then. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and or subscribe if and you did. And if you want to stick around for some more post-run things, feel free. Ah, I got rid of balance. That's actually too bad. Because balance is a good one. It makes you less resistant or more resistant to movement. Precise strike. It actually... Wow, that's... I like how this game works. You can only have three diseases. If you get a fourth, it replaces one of the other ones. Of course, negative health isn't that great either. But I don't really even care that much about bounty hunters. They're just not that great. They do single target. They don't bring enough utility. They're kind of like, okay, like you can always put them in and they'll be all right. They're not terrible like the occultist, but they aren't my favorite. Well, let's take a look at the coach. I'm really waiting for an arbalest or a crossbow shooter, the archer, whatever they're called. Fortunately, I don't need any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and do some upgrading. First of all, let me unequip all trinkets and let me get rid of this worthless crap. Stress resistant accuracy at the expense of crit and damage, yeah, no thanks. And that could be okay. Most of his skills are ranged, so we'll keep that one. I have a ton of money after that mission, so let's go ahead and uh, upgrade people. First of all, can I do more at this blacksmith? Yes, I can get armor. Ooh, and, and I can get the next weapon. That's good. So now that will help a lot. I don't know that I want to use the men at arms. Okay, definitely don't want to use the bounty hunter. And these guys aren't leveled up yet, but she is. Okay, at the guild, I don't have enough oil to, you know, do that. But let me just check to make sure everyone's skills are what they're supposed to be. His are. His are. Hers are. His could be upgraded, but I don't know if I really want to use him. She needs battlefield medicine, which is good. This thing is an attempt on the developers to try to make buffs better. I just don't think I ever want to spend an action in a combat to give someone a buff. And this is just not as good as the Noxious Blast. I mean, the Incision can be used from the front. Noxious Blast can be used from the back, but the Noxious Blast deals much more damage. The Incision deals more damage up front. It actually doesn't have any damage penalty, but I feel like the Noxious Blast is just better because you're going to want the Plague Doctor in the back anyhow. She's got the right stuff. Okay, so everyone's got the right things. Everyone's upgraded where they need to be. Do you have the right skills selected? You don't. Now you do. Good job. Congratulations. There's really nothing I would buy here. Anything that would be worth buying, I probably can't afford. This guy. Should I spend some money to relieve his stress? I mean, if I'm not going to, why do I even have him? So, let's do it. And I don't really have enough money left to, to spend at the survivalist, I don't think. So, we'll leave it there. Alright, we'll be back next time with some more Darkest Dungeon. I'll see you guys soon. Thank, thanks again for watching. Take care.